Hey, Clayton Bates here. And in this video, I'm going to show you three things how to add social media links to your website, workarounds plus things not to do when you're adding social media on your website, and how to get help if this doesn't work. If you don't know who I am, I've helped generate $200 million for my clients uh, through Shopify, and I'm one of the only people on YouTube that's a registered Shopify expert. So let's get into it. So when you're in your Shopify store here, you just wanna go online store themes. If you can't see online store, click sales channel, then online store, and then you can pin it here. Now, whichever theme you're doing this to, you go customize. A lot of people watching this are using Dawn or one of the premium themes on Shopify. So I'm just gonna do this one here. This one I'm actually working on as like training videos. It's called Black and White by Condo Soft Themes. I'll leave a link below. It's a really cool theme. That's hardly any money sort of thing. So uh, check that one out. Um, but let's go into Dawn here, so customize. Then you wanna click one of these three little bot buttons in over here on the left, so theme settings. Then you wanna scroll down to social media. Now, a lot of themes will have like little ads or it will have the themes social media or have Shopify social media. So what I like to do is just go and delete them like that. Now, no theme is gonna have every single social media platform. So for example, if I wanted to add my school community here, it doesn't have any link for school. If a platform you want, you need here, you'll have to get it coded in. Now, 99% of people watching this will not have to do that, so don't worry too much about it. And then you wanna paste all your social media links here. So for example, if we go to YouTube here, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed, it'd be awesome if you could. You just go to the like main menu of your YouTube, click the link, copy it, come back here, and then just paste it in where it says YouTube. So like that. And then now down in the footer, we have a YouTube link. And then you just go to each platform like this, go to your main page, then come back here, paste it in the right one. Try to make sure that you paste it in the right one. What I always like to do after doing this, this is Instagram, exactly the same way. But what I like to do is go to the live site after I added this and click each link and make sure it works sort of thing. Now, a great example also is that I wanna have my LinkedIn here and before I filmed this video, I didn't realize that Dawn doesn't have, have LinkedIn. So you can't actually put LinkedIn here and you'd have to code it in. But most people that do e-commerce, they're probably not gonna put LinkedIn there. So it's probably okay. And then you just press save here. Now, if you don't like it like this, you can make a menu and display them all in a menu sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. But the other thing too, a lot of people are probably like, Hey, Clayton, I want to put social media up here in my announcement bar and stuff like that. I really don't recommend doing this. The only real time that I ever do this is, is if someone really wants it there or is sometimes if we have an announcement bar, sorry, if, if we have a currency converter here, I might put social media over here just to even it out so it looks neat. But I don't think you need to do that. The main reason is because you're getting, you're, you're working so hard to get people from social media to your website through ads or your brand and stuff like that, you don't want them to go back to social media and get lost in social media. So we're trying to get lost in your website, not social media. So that's why I don't like to have them up there. That's why I like to just have it in the footer. Sometimes I might have like an Instagram feed at the bottom of the homepage or the about page if I'm trying to build a following on Instagram and stuff. Most people won't see either of those sections, but sometimes I like to add them there. It's the main thing is that it's down the bottom sort of thing. It's not up the top. Now, how to actually make that menu with the names and stuff. If we actually went out of here and then we went to content and then we went to file, uh, sorry, menus here, we can actually make a menu. So create menu. And then if we called this like social media, for example, we would do exactly the same thing with the link. So we add menu and then we go here to YouTube and subscribe, remember, and then we go back to Shopify. And then we click on the link here, we paste it here. When it's here, we click on it. So now the link's here. And then we rename it YouTube because we need to name it how it looks on the website. So the label is a name. So see how it says YouTube here. I'm not gonna do all of them, I'm just gonna do one more. So we copy Facebook, we come back here, we paste the link in here, and then we remove Facebook here, or we'll, we just say a Facebook. And then we, we can actually click these dots and move them wherever we want. So if you want in alphabetic order, you can then press save. Now we're gonna go back online store and we're gonna link all this up. 
Now we're going to go back to customizer. Now we're going to click footer. And then we're going to click this social media link. You can add it here, like, like I sort of said, in menu. Or we could just click here, name it social media, select, and then click social media. And now we have the menu here. We can delete this one. So see how it says social media, Facebook, YouTube. I've made other videos about making more menus, so filling them out like that as well. Um, but that's basically how you do it. All right, that's it for the video. Now, like I said at the start, if you, this did not work for your website, come over to my free school community, make a post, and I'll make a free video on like how to actually update it. Just let me know what theme you're using. And like always, if you want a free video review of your website, going over tips and suggestions on how to convert more visitors into paying customers, click the link below as well, and I'll film that for you. And until next time, see you soon.